Pope Stephen IV Latin, Stephanus IV, c. 770 the 24th of January 817 was pope from June 816 to his death in 817 Stephen belonged to a noble Roman family He was consecrated pope on or about the 22nd of June 816 The following October he crowned Louis the Pious Holy Roman Emperor at Reims and persuaded the emperor to release some Roman political prisoners he held in custody He returned to Rome by way of Ravenna sometime in November and died the following January Topic. Biography Topic. The son of a Roman noble called Marinus, Stephen IV belonged to the same family which also produced the Pope Sergius II and Adrian II. At a young age he was raised at the Lateran Palace during the pontificate of Pope Adrian I, and it was under Stephen's predecessor Pope Leo III that he was first ordained a subdeacon before he was subsequently made a deacon. Very popular among the Roman people, within ten days of Leo III's death, he was escorted to St. Peter's Basilica and consecrated Bishop of Rome on of June 816. It has been conjectured that his rapid election was an attempt by the Roman clergy to ensure that the Roman Emperor could not interfere in the election. Immediately after his consecration, he ordered the Roman people to swear fidelity to the Frankish king and Roman Emperor Louis the Pious, after which Stephen sent envoys to the Emperor notifying him of his election, and to arrange a meeting between the two at the Emperor's convenience. With Louis's invitation, Stephen left Rome in August 816, crossing the Alps together with Bernard, the king of the Lombards, who was ordered to accompany Stephen to the emperor. In early October, the pope and emperor met at Reims, where Louis prostrated himself three times before Stephen. At Mass on Sunday 5 October 816, Stephen consecrated and anointed Louis as emperor, placing a crown on his head that was claimed to belong to Constantine the Great. At the same time he also crowned Louis's wife Ermengarde of Hesbe, and saluted her as Augusta. This event has been seen as an attempt by the papacy to establish a role in the creation of an emperor, which had been placed in doubt by Louis's. Self coronation in 813. While with Louis, the emperor gave Stephen a number of presents, including an estate of land, most likely at Vendor sur Bars, granted to the Roman Church. They also renewed the pact between the popes and the kings of the Franks, confirming the privileges of the Roman Church and the continued existence of the recently emerged papal states. Stephen also raised Bishop Theodulf of Orléans to the rank of Archbishop, and had Louis release from their exile all political prisoners originally from Rome who had been held by the Emperor resulting from the conflict that plagued the early part of Pope Leo III's reign. It is also believed that Stephen asked Louis to enforce reforms for the clergy who lived under the rule of Crodaging. This included ensuring that the men and women who lived there were to stay in separate convents, and that they were to hold the houses under a title of common property. He also regulated how much food and wine they could consume. After visiting Ravenna on his way back from Reims, Stephen returned to Rome before the end of November 816. Here, he apparently discontinued Leo III's policies of favoring clergy over lay aristocracy. After holding the traditional ordination of priests and bishops in December and confirming Farfa Abbey's possessions on condition that every day the monks would recite 100 Kyria Lazones as well as a yearly payment to the Roman Church of ten golden solidi, Stephen died on 24 January 817. He was buried at St. Peter's, and was succeeded by Pope Paschal I. At some point, Stephen was canonized as a saint of the Catholic Church. See also Topic List of Catholic Saints List of Popes Topic Notes Topic This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain Herbermann Charles ed 1913 Pope Stephen IV V Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton. References Duffy, Amon, Saints and Sinners, A History of the Popes, Yale University Press 1997. 
Mann, Horace K., The Lives of the Popes in the Early Middle Ages, Vol. 2, The Popes During the Carolingian Empire, 795 858. Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Stephen Popes. Encyclopædia Britannica, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press.